Poison, what are you doing? You never told me. Besides, I don't normally even pay attention to My Little Pony stuff, but this is really good. Try watching this and see what you think of. No. Please! Okay, fine. It'll get you to stop making those noises. But I swear, when this turns out to be terrible like everything else on television, I'm going to give you an hour-long lecture on quality entertainment, and then I'm going to whack you with a mallet. Yay! Alrighty then, let's see how this is going to be. Once upon a time, in the magical land of Equestria. Oh god, save me now. I've never started a story on those words and seen it end well. Nightmare Moon. Was that a horse pun? She defeated her younger sister and banished her permanently in the moon. Ha! That's what you get for turning evil. I know I've heard of those before, but where? Oh yeah, I hate it when that happens. Like any time that you're singing a song and you have no idea where it came from, and then all of a sudden one of your co-workers comes up to you like, Hey, why are you singing songs from Barney? And all I'm thinking is, when in my life have I ever watched Barney? Alrighty then, theme song time. Let's just hope it's not as bad as all the other kids shows. Oh, God. Oh, it's like everything that's been wrong with pop and rock music for the last 20 years came together and had a drunken one-night stand and this was the result! Oh, okay. Tough it out. I promised Swift you were gonna watch it. You can't skip the theme song, you might miss something important. Never. Again. I got a lot of studying to catch up on. Jeez, oh, way to snub your friends there. Spike? There you are. Wait. That's Spike? You can't call a dragon Spike, that's a dog's name! Ugh, dragons need to have cool names like Blaze McBurn Stuff or Trogdor. Oh, snap! Y'all alright, Spike? Wait, don't just mosey on off, you just telekinetically slammed his face into the floor. Check on him! Hold on, press in. Press Sound it out. Threshold. Seriously? Brink? Okay, pay attention, kids. This is what happens when you skip your vocabulary homework. You know that I value your diligence and that So you can read diligence and not brink? That boy ain't right. Make some friends! Yeah, it's just like my mother used to tell me. Get outside and get some exercise, you electric heroin addicted cave dweller. Doesn't that make you Best advice ever. Thank you, sirs. Maybe the pony. So, do the stallions talk in this show, or do I need to call shenanigans? Hello? <laughs> the heck just happened there? Well. Did she just kick the actual crop out of that tree? Let's get this over. That is awesome. So, what can I do you for? 50 for vanilla, 100 if you want it weird. <clears throat> Come on, Brawny, you know your mother taught you better than that. Get your mind out of the gutter. Up and at him, Granny Smith. We got guests. One, did she just list off the buffet menu or her own family members' names? Two, why does this look so much like one of my own family get-togethers? Ugh, I ate too much pie. Gained 30 pounds from too much amazing home-cooked food? Yep, that was definitely one of my family get-togethers. <laughs> uh, 
Excuse me? How about you watch where you're going, you gigantic, graceless, garish galoot? <laughs> Prove it. Now you f***ed up! <laughs> Seconds flat. No. Oh, goodness, no. How does that work? Are they straight? I swear to God, if Swift made me watch some weird interspecies shipping in my kids' cartoon, I'm gonna whack her with this mallet. I'm sorry, what was that? My name is Well, that's good. Well, let's try it again, and this time we'll try it like it isn't the first time in our lives that we're interacting with someone else. He's so sweepy, he can't even keep his widow balance. <laughs> You know, one of these days, he's going to evolve into Charizard, and we're all going to be having well-done French burgers for a week. You must not have any friends, and if you don't have any friends, then you must be lonely, and that means Good so lord, it's like someone put a chipmunk's record on double speed. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. That's it, I'm cutting this one off on the sugar snacks. Huh? Really? This can't really? Be good. There's no one backstage making sure that the guest of honor is actually there? The night will last. Forever. <laughs> you know, Miss Thoroughbred of Sin, forcing yourself on your subjects like that isn't going to make them admire you. Whatever they didn't like about the night before, they're really going to hate when they're constantly shrouded in it. Plus, you can take one look at Alaskan suicide rates and see that eternal darkness isn't exactly conducive to a healthy soul. You are a baby dragon, after all. You know, unless you're packing some sort of amazing weapons in some invisible saddlebag, I really think that bringing the fire-breathing dragon with you is a good idea. I appreciate the offer, but I'd really rather do this on my own. Seriously, Twilight? Are you, like, versed in some form of currently unestablished martial art that makes you think you can handle going into a dark forest alone when there's a super-powerful demon unicorn lurking about? Actually, no. I take that back, because if you were, you would know how thoroughly retarded it is to go into a dark forest alone when there's a super-powerful demon unicorn lurking about. But, then again, none of the others have been established to be tactically savvy either, so I guess I should just start placing bets on who's gonna get picked off first. Has never come out! Gosh darn it, you idiot! You've provoked the super powerful demon unicorn and doomed us all! A manticore! A manticore? Is that an actual thing? I'm interested now. My hair! Okay, someone get this girl out of here, as she clearly does not belong in a fight. Dragon! Oh, you poor, poor little baby. Little? Oh, girl, don't you see? Nope, not doing this. Fast forward. Such lovely luminescent scales. Oh, don't encourage him. Oh, okay, it's just her tail. My mustache! Is now completely mismatched and looks worse than it did before. You probably would have been better off just shaving it clean and growing it again. Okay, I think I've had enough fabulousness for one day. Let's move on, shall we? Thank you. For the offer, I mean. Good choice. You've earned points in my book. Huh, I'm surprised. It's not usually the smart ones that get picked off first. You're kidding. You're kidding, right? My thoughts exactly. Seriously, Twilight, you're an adorable purple unicorn, not Rambo. You might want to wait for the backup. Ooh, I like her. She's clever. <laughs> well, we're boned. Because the spirits of the elements of harmony are right here. Go on. It creates the sixth element, the element of... Friendship! Magic! Oh. Okay. That works too, I guess. Yeah, how's that rainbow taste? And I don't mean them Skittles, sucker! Is that you, Glinda? But you could not unleash it until you let true friendship into your heart. Oh, snap, I get it! Fueled by a set of virtues combined with interpersonal camaraderie, friendship is a tool that's used to apply to situations to solve problems that any individual cannot solve on their own. Friendship is magic. 
I'm cool with this. Will you accept my friendship? Whoa! I missed you so much, big sister. I've missed you too. Oh snap, I get it. Twilight unlocked the elements of harmony to rejoin the princesses of night and day from the storybook at the beginning. Twilight comes between night and day. That is freaking awesome! I'll study harder than ever before! I thought the whole point of sending you here was that you would stop studying for a minute and try to get a social life. Oh well, as long as you don't think you can study friendship out of a book, you'll be all set. So, what did I tell you? Isn't it great? Actually, I could see myself getting into this. Ah, hmm? oh, son of a- So, North, how does it feel having created a monster? It feels awesome!